Hey guys, Fox here, coming at you guys with a um, deck profile for my Bruise deck post set three. Um, we definitely got some good new cards, um, especially the grade two, it's just amazing in the deck. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the ride line, um, obviously um, still running the old ride line. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, um, the grade one moves behind, uh, well you ride the grade one and then when you ride, uh, you move the starter behind it or wherever to rear guard and soul charge one and then the grade two you put the uh, starter back in it so I believe it has to be the starter, oh, you just put a rear guard in your soul and then you draw a card um, and everybody knows what Bruce does, it's the star of the deck. So. But yeah, the ride line definitely helps you build up the soul so you're already ready to go when you hit your final rush turn. Um, then we're running three more of the Bruce and the main deck just because Persona riding is good, obviously. And then I'm still running three Marjorie. Um, just really good card. Uh, when she attacks, you can put a rear guard in a soul. You soul charge one draw a card and she gets plus 10k until end of turn um, so really good helps you build up the soul helps you push for game so just a great card overall um, you do have to be in final rush to use the skill so just keep that in mind most of them you do um, and then i'm playing three hellbox full dive still um, it's counter boss one draw a card choose a card from your hand call it to rear guard and then if you're in final rush your whole front row gets 10k so it's another card that helps you push for game um, it's nice to dig through your deck as well, so you can even, I mean, if you want to, I probably wouldn't, but if you're searching for certain cards, uh, you can use the scale before Final Rush to draw and call a card from your hand or rear guard. Um, and then for the great twos, which are the best part of the deck, and probably the strongest, running four of the new card, uh, Derek. And for those of you who don't know, his skill is if you're in Final Rush, it gets 5k. Um, and then you can combo boss one, put a rear guard in a soul, choose one of your opponent's rear guards for every four cards in your soul and then retire them. And then if you are in final rush, you look at the uh, same number of cards from the top of your deck as the number of opponent's rear guards. Um, you choose any number of them and call them a rear guard and any that you don't call, you put in a soul. Um, so really good. Um, you get a free retire and you can fill back up your board. Uh, you usually only retire one because you don't normally have eight cards in soul. Um, but if you do get to that point, you can retire too, which is really nice. Um, just a really solid card. Um, maybe too strong, but I definitely love it. And then four of the set two, grade two, uh, Leonard. Um, for those of you who don't know, he also gets 5k if you are in final rush. And when he attacks, he battles all of your opponent's units in a column. So um, it attacks the back row rear guards as well. And then if the attack hits, you soul charge one. And if you have a Bruce Vanguard, you call up to one card from your, or you choose up to one card from your soul and call it to an open rear guard. Um, it doesn't have to be an open rear guard, uh, but it's very good. You kill a whole calm and you get a free calm yourself if you have the open rear guard space. Um, it also soul charges, so you're not losing um, the cards that you're uh, calling from soul. So you could still have the cards there. Um, you know, for your Bruce. And then finally, I'm running two Eden. Uh, still a very good card. Um, he gets 5K if you're in Final Rush. And if he's stood by a card effect, he gets a critical. Uh, so he's really good for closing out games. But his main skill that I like is when his attack hits, you kind of bust one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Um, you don't have to be in Final Rush for that skill to go off. So if your opponent rushes you early, which most people want to do against Bruce, uh, you just call these out, retire their rear guards, and you're in a much better spot from that point on. Um, then we're running four recusal hate dragon. Uh, the PG, um, it's, you know, other skill besides being a regular PG is if you have one or less cards in hand, you do not have to discard for the cost. So that's very nice. Um, then we're running four protobulb. Um, you counter boss one when it boosts, if you're in final rush, you put a rear guard into soul and then you choose a card from your soul and you can put it into your hand. Uh, so really good. You can this helps you like persona ride consistently. Consistently, um, you can add shields to your hand, perfect guards, whatever you need. Um, you can just toolbox for anything, and it also opens up the other rear guard 
uh, for Leonard's skill to go off. And then I'm running two Dober. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple different cards you can run in this slot. Um, I like the Dober just because I like to finish games quickly. Uh, his skill is when he at the end of the battle that he boosted, if you're in Final Rush, you put in a soul, choose one of your rear guards, and it gets 10,000 into on the turn. Um, so usually what you'll do is attack with your rear guard before you attack with the Vanguard, put in a soul, boost it, um, you know, after you boost, and you have a bigger attack column the next time. Um, fuels the soul for Bruce as well, which is nice. Uh, and then for triggers, I am running the Dark States over trigger, not the generic. Um, gives your Vanguard uh, plus 10k and a critical uh, for the rest of the game. If you drive check it, um, you also draw a card. And if you damage check it, draw a card as well. And then it gives the 100 million too. So we're running four of the heals, running three draw, uh, just because you want to draw into your pieces, hit your persona rides, everything like that. Uh, four crit and eight crit. Um, you can run the front triggers that get the additional shield if your opponent's at grade three. I just like the pressure of the crits, um, but it's definitely, you know, if you prefer more defensive option, you're still getting a lot of pressure out of the plus 10k to the front row. Um, other cards you could run are the New Order Tactics. Um, you counter blast one when you play it. You soul charge, I believe it's four. Yeah, you soul charge four. And then if you're in Final Rush, you get to perform all of the following according to the number of cards in soul. Six or more, you draw a card. Eight or more, your front row gets 10k. And then 12 or more, your Vanguard, it gets plus one credit until on a turn. I don't like running this card because you deck out. Um, same basic skill for acrobats presenter um, when your vanguard attacks if it's a bruce um, you soul charge one if you're in final rush you soul charge again it's a mandatory soul charge so i don't like that um, you could also run mabel uh, once you boost a um, bruce vanguard you can counter bust one if you're in final rush and you get triple drive uh, it's definitely a good card it's probably like one of the um closest cards that i would include uh, but anyways, that's the deck profile, guys. Really like the deck. Really like the addition of all the cards they got in set three. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and hope you have a good day.